my water. Oh, now I'll never get to sleep. Don't worry, Trisha. It's okay. <laughs> Big tree star keep us all dry. <laughs> oh. Oops. Me sorry. Look, Spike. The sky water makes the groundwater dance. <laughs> wow, Ruby. There sure is a lot of sky water coming down. That's sky water, Chomper. It just keeps coming down until it doesn't. Well, at least the secret caverns keep us safe from Red Claw. Which is good, since I promised your mom and dad I'd keep us safe from Red Claw. Yeah, and tonight they're keeping us dry, too. Huh? Look! The stone teeth are dripping! Let's see. Oh dear, now your tail is dripping. Ah! I gotta make it stop! Wait, Chomper! <laughs> oh no! Mm. Mm. I'll never get to sleep. All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow all the way home. To the land before time. lasted it a long time last night. It did, it did. Well, me might like sky water if it's not so wet. Well, Petrie, the bright circle is out now, so it'll dry everything up. Right, Sarah? It better, little foot. My tree stars are soggy. <laughs> hey! Those tree stars are not yours to eat, dome heads. No, no, no. those dome heads. It did. Thank you for the thank you, Ducky. <laughs> <laughs> Having tree stars to share is always good. Yep, yep, yep. Hello, my friends, my friends, hello. Hi, Hi Ruby. Ruby. <sighs> Hi. Hey, Chomper, what's wrong? Not much, I guess. I just need to find a new cave to live in. Hmm. There is always something wrong with Chomper's cave. Yup, yup, yup. Not always. Ruby and me are really happy our families let us stay in the secret caverns. Mm-hmm. Especially with Red Claw and his fast biters scaring everyone in the mysterious beyond. Okay, so what's wrong with your cave this time? It's leaky. It's a cave. How bad can it be? Come on, I'll show you. The water started coming in during the big sky water last night. I could not sleep with the dripping sound either. No, no, no. It was worse last night. Yes. Though there might have been less water if Chomper hadn't made those holes. Ugh. Yeah, so I thought 
we could go exploring and look for a new cave. Explore the, the secret caverns? I don't know, Chomper. It'll be fun, an adventure. I want to go adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. I want to go adventuring and find a brand new cave. Will there be things with glowing eyes that use the dark as a disguise? And try catch Petrie by surprise. I don't think Try this way. Okay, but the air is fresher this way. I think we should go the way we can see best. Hey, Spike, nice job. Yeah, yeah great. <laughs> going the way we can see will let us see the way we're going. Sarah? I suppose. Okay, then let's go this way. Ruby, you said what I said, but biggerer, and everyone listened. If I could talk big, everyone would listen to me too. That would be good. <laughs> as long as the big isn't so big that you scare everyone. Like Red Claw? Yeah, like Red Claw. find a good cave. Good cave? <laughs> I don't think there is such a thing. Hey, guys, you have to see this. This is what we have to see? I think we can all fit. Follow me. <laughs> what is this place? It's a cave of many voices. Listen! Hello! 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 Wow, a talkback! A big talkback! Hauga! Hauga! Oh no! What was that? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was some roar, Ducky! Yeah, even I'm impressed! Oh, I sound big now! Yes, yes, yes! talk big in here, Ruby. Can you show me how to talk big in the Great Valley? You just think I talk big because I'm bigger than you. But if you were bigger than you, you'd talk bigger too. Hmm? But then, it wouldn't be big to you. Then, can you try to help me talk big, please? I guess I can try. <laughs> <laughs> Me great flyer! 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 Woohoo! Woohoo! Tree Star! 
<laughs> you know, all the shouting is making me thirsty. And hungry, too. Don't look at me. <laughs> Chomper, out in Great Valley, me saw a nest full of stinkily buzzing things you might like. Gee, that sounds great. Then let's go. Those stinky, buzzy things were spicy, but good. Uh, not sure me want to hear details, but you're welcome. So who's ready to go explore the cavern some more? Uh, uh. <clears throat> we're still eating, Chomper. You flat teeth sure take a long time to eat. Say, Chomper, why don't you go on ahead and we'll catch up with you? Great idea, Littlefoot! Uh, where Ruby and Ducky? <sighs> Ducky, I've thought about it and here's what I think. To talk big, you need to feel big inside. So if you can think big, you can talk big too. I can think of big things, like that tree. It is big. Good. Now be the tree. <gasps> uh, I cannot be a tree. No, no, no. But you can pretend to be as big as the tree, right? Oh, pretend. I am a tree. Okay. Now that you're feeling big, let's talk big. Like this. Fill your body big with air. <gasps> And you let it go from there. Open wide so you can say that you're feeling big today. I'm talking big. More try. Stand up straight, now don't be shy. Your big voice will make you proud. Let it sing out loud. I am talking big. You're talking big. Big, like a big, big tree. Really, really big. Big like Soros Rock. Big like the biggest Ooh. big. some tree stars? Oh, yeah, sure. Here. Hey, are you trying to talk differently, Ducky? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, yes. I, I mean, yes, Sarah. Since I feel big now, I am going to talk big, too. Well, it might be more convincing if you were a little taller. She'll be taller one day. Guys! Guys! Guess what? I found a new cave to live in. Come on, you gotta see it! Uh, gee, Chomper. It's pretty nice. Yeah, for a cave. Don't you just love it? And best of all, no stone teeth! <laughs> 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 like someone else is in the secret caverns. Well, there's only one way to find out who it is. That whole spike made seem 
seems a lot bigger. That's the mysterious beyond out there. Oh no, it's Red Claw. Fast biters. Let's go. We don't want them to see us up here. We cannot let those shark teeth stay in here. No, no, no. Don't talk big now, ducky. Oh, Sarah! while you guys get help. Hold him off? Like an appetizer? Ugh. Listen, we gotta stick together. If only the Cave of Many Voices could make our bodies as big as it makes our voices. Ducky, that's it. Remember how your big talkback scared Petrie? Oh, me remember that. If we lead Red Claw and his fast biters toward the Cave of Many Voices, we can go inside and make it sound like there are more of us. And bigger of us. Uh, we roar like we big and angry? No problem. Not problem for you. Tell Red Claw to leave because a big and angry. 
angry herd is on its way. Okay. <laughs> So brave, Ducky. Yeah, we never make it into cave without you sneaking in first. <laughs> Sometimes being little is better than talking big. But I know I will always be big in here. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so excited. Do you see where he went? Can someone please tell me where we're going? Oh! Oh no! No! Hang on, Petrie! We're coming! <laughs> All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Burning bright with a newborn Come sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow all the way. Bright Circle Celebration. You know no? She know no! I don't know either. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Go back to your sleeping spots before Petrie tries to make you work all day. <laughs> Must work. Bright Circle need wonderful celebration so it stay all shiny more longer. Petrie, you can waste your time with the celebration, but I'm going back to my nice warm spot. Oh, Sarah Wright, me need help. Big celebration need big space all clean. Um, is there more to the celebration than clearing the clearing? Oh, yeah. We gather delicious cold time foods for everyone and have big feast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is much work, but it is worth it. Yes, yes, yes. Also, everyone think about what they learned since last cold time. Like me, learn this. I know what I've learned. Look! I can hop like a hopper! Woohoo! <laughs> we all have great big 
be fun later. But we make place ready first. I think I'm going to like this bright circle celebration. <laughs> Just this one tree. My sleeping spot is getting colder and colder. This makes Bright Circle all happy. Uh, how so? Bright Circle Sea Celebration. If good, then Bright Circle stay in sky longer and longer until warm times come. The Bright Circle is watching us? Yes, Bright Circle always watching. No, it isn't. So, if the Bright Circle doesn't like the celebration, does that mean the warm times won't come? That's what Petrie thinks, but it isn't true. It's just a story. Right, Littlefoot? Huh? Well, I don't know. I just think it's fun to celebrate something that you're thankful for. Fun for some of you, maybe. To me, it just seems like a lot of work for no reason. Are we done with this tree yet? <laughs> me no done. <laughs> Push tree to fast water for bright circle. <laughs> okay, let's come do on. it. Yep, yep, yep. Glad to see you kids are getting an early start. There's a lot of work to do today. Maybe for some of us. Oh, beautiful day for a celebration, isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah, sure mm -hmm. it is. Hmm. Something wrong, Sarah? Why would a grown-up like you care about the bright circle? Well, there's nothing wrong with being thankful, Sarah. Me so thankful. <laughs> yeah, and I'm thankful I'm done pushing that silly tree. Hmm, I have to learn what I've learned since last cold time. <gasps> I know what I've learned it. Yes, yes, yes. I guess whatever Ducky learned is underwater. She's going awfully deep. Maybe she's trying to get underwater green food for the celebration. There's green food underwater? Yeah, but you have to hold your breath a long time to get it. Bubbles! <gasps> Yay, Ducky! <gasps> I practiced it very much since the last Bright Circle celebration. I did, I did. That was really impressive, Ducky. Well, I bet I've learned more than all of you. I learned, um... What you learned, Sarah? Tell us. Tell Bright Circle, too. Oh, forget it. Forget what, Sarah? Forget everything. I'm so sick of hearing about the Bright Circle. Why? Do you not like the Bright Circle? I like it fine. I just don't think we need a whole celebration to thank you for being there. <laughs> What's next? Am I supposed to start thanking the trees and rocks for being here too? <gasps> well, if you want to, yes, yes, yes. Well, I don't want to. The bright circle is just a ball in the sky that's going to come and go and make warm times just like always. It doesn't need a celebration. I think everyone can make up their own minds about the Bright Circle and the celebration. Then go ahead and waste your day if you want to, but I'm not helping and I'm not celebrating. Good morning, Daddy. Hmm. 
doesn't look like you think it's so good to me. <sighs> Where are Tria and Trisha? Oh, they're off on some bright circle celebration nonsense. Really? You think it's nonsense? Because that's what I think, too. Of course you do. You're a three-horn, like me. Life's exactly what you see. Nothing is a mystery. A rock's a rock, a tree's a tree. It's what I call reality. Reality. can see the world is flat. The sky is round, can't argue that. While we stand still here on the ground. The bright circle goes round. Reality. My reality. Is no mystery. Is just what you see. It's right in front of me. There's no mystery. My reality. It's plain to, to see, see reality. reality. I think Spike knows what he can do. Yep, yep, yep. That good, Spike. What you do? <laughs> What is doing down there? <laughs> ah! Everyone will love those tree parts at the celebration. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> Whoa, easy there, Spike! Me think Bright Circle very proud. All right, time for us all to get back to work. But, Littlefoot, have you not learned it anything? Haven't I learned anything? Of course I have. Watch this. <laughs> hey, you sound like Spike. And I'm almost as strong as him. Mm -hmm. Here, we'll have a feast of our own, while everyone else is busy with that bright circle nonsense. Hi, Topsy. Hi, Sarah. Oh, are those for the celebration? Nope, they're just for us. What do you mean? You know I think this whole celebration stuff is ridiculous. Well, the rest of the Great Valley disagrees with you. Huh. Sarah doesn't. Right, Sarah? Right, Daddy. Well, Trisha and I have been having a great time. We've helped make the clearing look pretty. And Trisha found her first sweet tree part. Ah! <laughs> uh, <clears throat> are you listening to me? Hmm? What? Oh, 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 of course I was listening. You and all the others are busy thanking something that doesn't need any thanks. Well, if you change your mind, Trisha and I will be digging up sweet roots for the celebration. No thanks. I'm staying here with Dad. Hello. <laughs> Dad, do you think Tria and Trisha are silly? No, of course not. Hmm. Oh, you worry too much. There are some things that I just know. Now, eat. Oh, maybe I've learned to like the taste of bad tasting tree parts. Mm. <laughs> Ugh. 
No, I haven't learned that. No worry, Ruby. Bright circle very patient. Uh, Dad? Oh, yes, Sarah? Remember when Tria took me and my friends to the mud pool? Yes. And at first, I didn't want to get in, but once I did, it was kind of fun. Hmm? Well, now my friends are getting ready for the celebration, and... Well, maybe it wouldn't be so bad if we helped just a little bit. Well, I suppose we could go over there just to see how everyone's been getting along without us. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. This place is looking much cleaner. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, it's just about ready for the big celebration. Hey, is that part of the celebration too? Uh, me not think so. Sarah! Circle's angry. It just means that until we get help, we're just going to have to fight this fire by ourselves. Spike, dig like you did earlier today. Chomper, use your legs to kick the dirt into the fire. Okay! <laughs> Not out yet. Mr. Threehorn? You're here too? Of course I'm here. And I'm here to help too. Drop some tree stars over here. I can cover this whole area.
time to eat. We need more help. <gasps> we already have it! Look! Frozen sky water! <gasps> it's beautiful! And it is slowing down the fire! It is, it is! Frozen Skywater Save Bright Circle Celebration! The fire's not out yet, Petrie! And it won't be if we just stand here gawking. Now let's go! Right, Dad! It's okay to celebrate. <laughs> Once in a while. You're right, Sarah. It isn't that bad, is it? I know you're not one for celebrations, Topsy, but I'm awfully glad you're here. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Everyone here. <laughs> me feel so happy, me want everyone to see. It like the bright circle, all shiny inside of me. <laughs> Today's the day, the bright circle celebration. We all worked hard to make things just right. about. I do, I do. <sighs> Tree stars. But the Tree Star song has changed. There's something new. <laughs> well, the new song's not coming from these tree stars. Um. <sighs> Nothing like tree stars to start the day right. 
All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow. About hard water sweets. <gasps> hard water sweets? Uh, what are those, Mr. Thicknose? Oh, hard water sweets are sweet bubbles covered by hard water. Oh my! That sounds like something I've never even heard of. I'm not surprised. Hard water sweets can only be found on the first day of the cold time. <gasps> That today. Say, maybe we can find them. Don't even bother. That hard water sweet stuff is a load of nonsense. Now, Mr. Threehorn, I assure you, it's not nonsense. Oh? Well, if they really exist, why haven't I ever found them? Perhaps because they're hard to find. <laughs> mm. It's not funny. Tree sweet. Mm -hmm. Water sweet. <laughs> Tree sweet. <laughs> Sometimes I think Mr. Threehorn just enjoys arguing. Sarah! <laughs> Little foot. <laughs> Those two, too. <sighs> Those guys. It's like they're all so busy talking, they can't hear the tree stars sing. Oh, there's that new green food song again. If hard water sweets are so hard to find, how can they be found? Well, you have to look on a certain mountain on the edge of the Great Valley. It's not an easy journey. That's never stopped us before. Now, to get there, you have to go to the tree with two trunks. Tree with two trunks. Make a left at the tree and head towards the mountain on the right until you reach the waterfall. <sighs> waterfall. Go behind the waterfall and around the big stone to the Gusty Canyon. Gutsy Canyon. And then, they're supposed to be there at the top. See? Even he doesn't know exactly where to look. They do sound hard to find. True, but I hear it's the most wonderful tasting food you can find. At first, they're cold and crunchy, but when you bite down, they're juicy and sweet. Oh, they sound like the most delicious thing I've never tasted. If you like that sort of thing. Puh, I've never even seen that sort of thing. And you shouldn't be telling kids about things that don't exist. Well, you don't have to believe it if you don't want to. I believe you, Mr. Thicknose, and I want to try and find them. If you kids can bring me back a hard water sweet, I'll give you my share of the tree sweets. Huh? Well, if you bring me back a hard water sweet, I'll give you all the tree sweets in the Great Valley. All of them? Uh, well, um, 
all that I can find. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? Hmm. Now what's going on? Everybody ready? Yeah, let's go! Go? Go where? I know what this means. They want to go adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. They want to go adventuring, I'm really not sure why. Why can't they all just be like me and eat some tree stars from a tree? But they always want to be off on their way. Whatever they want us to do, we'll end up being dangerous too, I'm sure they know. But yet they'll go. And if they go adventuring, I know that there is just one thing that I am going to have to do. I'll have to go adventuring. Do. Ready to look for the hard water sweets. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> oh well, here we go. <sighs> <sighs> the new Tree Star song is getting louder. Three with two trunks. <laughs> huh? That's not it. The new Tree Star song is coming from somewhere else. It's coming from up there. Uh, can't we go this way? <sighs> we are going this way. again. We are going this way, Spike. We are, we are. <sighs> Spike, shh. Sometimes even little grunt make hard water and ground sparkles give way the big landslide. said we need to go behind the waterfall. No! Oh, oh. <sighs> Arguing again. <sighs> All this mist. And the waterfall's so loud I can't make out anything.
too cold for a swimmer. It was, it was. That wasn't so bad, was it? Speak for yourself. Look! Big rock right there. Gutsy Canyon on other side. Gutsy Canyon? Petrie, it's Gusty Canyon! Gutsy, Gusty, what the difference? Ah! <laughs> oh, why they not just call it Windy Canyon? The new Tree Star song. It must be this way. No, Petrie. Mr. Thicknose said. No! We... Petrie! <laughs> Look at Spike go! If he can do it, so can we. We can? We won't know unless we do. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Mr. Thicknose did say they're hard to find. Maybe we no look hard enough. Yes. Yeah. Or maybe my dad was right and they don't exist. <laughs> Where is it coming from? It's so loud. It's like I'm right on top of it. Mr. Thicknose wouldn't just make it up. They have to exist. Guys? No, they do not. They do too. Do not. Do too. Do no, not. No talk too loud. Do, too. do not. They do too. It's coming from down here. The new song is from Sweet Bubbles Covered in Hard Water! Oh, the others have to see this! Guys, hard water crack! Do not! Do two! Do not! Do two! Listen! Be quiet! Uh oh. Every time we go adventuring. <laughs> Spike? Hey, don't forget about us! 
put her over this way. sweets on the way down, little foot. <laughs> Don't wander off, Spike. But if Spike hadn't wandered when he wandered, he would have been caught in the landslide, too. Then Spike could not have saved us. No, no, no. Yeah, well, too bad Spike couldn't save us from Littlefoot's idea to find hard water sweets. <laughs> But I know where they are! Do not! They do too! Another fight, the same old sight. But today, I know I'm right. There's something special in the air And I want us to go there Come on guys, follow me I know just what you want to see burr, 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 burr. I think Spike said Please follow me <laughs> Come on, follow me. I do not know about you, but I am going to follow Spike. Whatever he thinks is worth seeing is probably worth a look. Yeah! Another landslide. Oh, wait for me. <laughs> Hard water sweets. This is the way things should be. All of us happy and eating, not fighting and hungry. <sighs> mm -hmm. I'm still impressed you kids found hard water sweets. We never would have found them if it were not for Spike. No, no, no. He sure yes, did. I oh, found them. Thanks, Spike. All right, here you go. All the tree sweets I could find. What about those? Petrie, even we couldn't get those down. Yeah? Well, watch this. If they ate more. <laughs> you know, sometimes I wish we could all be a little more like Spike. I do too, Ruby. I do, I do. 